Hey guys, what's up? This week we're revisiting the Firestarter series. We're gonna bring back the, the white phosphorus. Uh, if you haven't seen this video, make sure you go check it out. Uh, we were able to get a spontaneous combustion reaction, which was really cool. Uh, but we're gonna use some white phosphorus again and uh, a little bit uh, more dramatic fashion. Turns out it's actually soluble in a little substance called carbon disulfide, the CS2. We can dissolve the phosphorus in here and uh, well, let me let me show you exactly what happens. All right, so I've got a test tube. I'm going to add a little bit of the carbon disulfide to the test tube. Uh, this stuff has a, a really low vapor pressure and so it will go to a uh, vapor very quickly or uh, turns from a liquid into a gas. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that in here and then we're going to seal everything back up because it's, uh, well, it's not the best smelling stuff and uh, probably not the best for you. So we'll seal that up. Now we've got uh, some carbon disulfide in our tube. And uh, now we just need to add the phosphorus. So there's our piece of phosphorus. Uh, you'll notice it actually starts smoking uh, once you've uh, had it out for just a second. You can see the smoke rolling off of it there. Uh, that is, uh, well, it's not really something that we want to breathe. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in there and seal our tube back up. So that's our phosphorus in there dissolving in the carbon disulfide. All right, so there we go. We've uh, got a nice little uh, solution there of phosphorus in uh, carbon disulfide. So that's what uh, everything looks like here now. Dissolved. It's uh, turned a little bit yellowish. Uh, you can see it's gotten a little bit of a yellow color, and that's from the phosphorus uh, that's dissolved in there. So uh, it looks pretty good to me. Give it a real good shake now. And I'm just going to vent that because I don't want, uh, yeah, a little pressure built up in there. We're going to wipe that off because it does have phosphorus in it, and hopefully not. Yeah, so you can see the idea behind what's happening here uh, that fast. Look at that. It, uh, already has burned several little places on these paper towels so uh, you can see just how quickly that will react very cool so we're gonna go outside so we don't set the house on fire and uh, yeah So you can hear how super windy it is, and uh, even with all the wind, this is a great way to start a fire. Really good. All right, so we're gonna do that one more time. That was just, that's too cool. We gotta see that again. We can make another fire.
So what happens there is the carbon disulfide is, uh, is capable of dissolving phosphorus. Now phosphorus is super reactive with the oxygen. In fact, when I pulled the little piece out of the bowl, you could see that it started smoking. So it's the phosphorus reacting with oxygen just in the air and uh, creating that, uh, that wonderful smoky look to it. Uh, very toxic, so you don't want to breathe it, but uh, it looks really cool. So then when you pour that onto a paper towel, uh, once it's all dissolved, then the carbon disulfide will evaporate very quickly. It has a very low vapor pressure, and uh, it wants to be a gas rather than a solution, so if you leave it out, it will evaporate uh, rather readily. And then the phosphorus will spontaneously react with the oxygen in the air, and uh, we get a great way to start a fire. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun. That was a really cool reaction, seeing the phosphorus react with the oxygen, and uh, it's a great way to get a fire started if you're, uh, if you're in need of getting one started in a hurry. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button down below. Make sure you drop me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see me do. Uh, if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button over in the corner. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time. Holy